Arizona, April 14th. An apprentice accidentally dropped a securing nut into an empty argon tanker and entered the tank to recover it. He took two breaths and collapsed. He died. Oklahoma, March 14th. A new pipeline in a trench was being proof tested with nitrogen. A charge hand entered the trench to investigate an audible leak. He took two breaths and collapsed. He died. September 26th, Michigan. After a fire in a pump room was extinguished with CO2, a fireman went down to investigate. He wore an oxygen supply, but as soon as he found the fire was out, he removed his mask. He took two breaths and collapsed. The fireman died. All these men really died. And from a very deadly killer. A killer they did not smell, did not see. There was no warning. They took two breaths, and minutes later, they were dead. Not so much from something that was there, but from something that wasn't. Oxygen. Hey, what's this big deal about oxygen? It's all around me. What do you think I'm breathing right now, huh? That's true most of the time, but there are some places. Okay, okay, I can't breathe underwater. And there isn't much oxygen at high altitudes either. All right, all, all right, I get the picture. But I don't work underwater, and I don't work up there either. Maybe you don't, George. But even in your normal environment, there's only about 21% oxygen in the air you breathe. The rest is mostly nitrogen. And someday, someplace, probably where you work every day, and it could be a pipe casing, a ship's hold, a mine shaft, a tank or a pit, usually a confined space of some sort there's going to be less than 21% oxygen. You, 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 you mean in there? Well, but that looks just like the places I work in are around all the time. Sure it does. That's why it could be dangerous. <laughs> but I don't smell anything. I, I don't see anything. I don't hear anything either. You won't. Well, so how do I know if there's oxygen in there? You don't. That's the whole point. If you walk into an oxygen-deficient atmosphere, you won't have a single warning, and it's too late to hold your breath. You'll take two breaths, and you'll... Collapse. No warning or nothing. That's right. Yeah, but you mean a few percent less oxygen can actually make a difference? Usually, it doesn't happen gradually. But if we lower the oxygen to only 19.5%, just that much less is the minimum required by law to sustain normal life. And as the percent of oxygen decreases, it rapidly gets dangerous. Dizziness, a more rapid heartbeat, a buzzing in your ears, maybe a headache. Muscular control becomes difficult. Permanent brain damage can occur. Then paralysis, unconsciousness, death in five to eight minutes. Uh, well, how come there wouldn't uh, be any oxygen in there? Could be a lot of reasons, George, but mostly because industry today uses many types of gases. Some of them precisely for the reason that they completely replace oxygen in a specific area. Some of these gases are poisonous. Some highly flammable. But many of them you won't see, taste, or smell. Or a lack of oxygen could be caused by flame, fire, rust. Or by the decay or fermentation of organic matter. So, I, uh, I really don't know what's in there, do I? Oh, hi, Harry. Hello, George. Hey, gee, he just, hey, that's Harry in there. He, he's down. I gotta go get him. Stop. Think. Don't panic. Yeah, but, but, but there's no oxygen in there. Time is critical, but if you walk in there without oxygen, there'll be two men down. So, scream for help. Help! Help! Harry's down in there. I need an oxygen mask and a safety line, fast. Now you're thinking. You must have an oxygen source and a lifeline. You can't hold your breath long enough to rescue someone. Get medical help here fast and then notify the boss. Hey, what happened? I don't remember a thing. No, you wouldn't, Harry. No oxygen in there. You know, we ought to have a program of some sort around here to, to prevent this kind of thing. Right. Prevention is the only cure. Be aware of the potentially dangerous oxygen-deficient areas on your job and plan ahead. Know what you're going to do and check each procedure carefully. 
Monitor and test the atmosphere of all areas before you enter. Use a self-contained breathing mask when working in dangerous areas and always have them available for an emergency. Use lifelines and harnesses and use the buddy system so someone is there to help you if you do get into trouble. When an accident occurs, think. Don't panic. Call for help. You need two or more people to help with the rescue. And you must have an oxygen supply and a lifeline with someone on the other end. Don't become the second or third victim, but most of all, prevent accidents. Don't enter an area of any kind without knowing what's inside, because oxygen deficiency is waiting for you, and there won't be any warning at all. All you'll have to do is take two breaths to 